going to uh, we're going to put together the plunger kit on a VX 100-200 so if you can tell it's a 100-200 by the type of head it has and uh, if you take a picture and send it to us we'll tell you which model it is but it, no, no doubt uh, just about everything out there is a 100-200 so all right we are going to start with the video of repacking the pump. Obviously, you, you know how to remove the head. And when you put the head back on, it's 35 uh, pounds torque on the bolts that put it back on. The tools you need, you should have a slide hammer, and you'll see why I use a slide hammer. And this slide hammer is unique because as you turn it this way they expand out and so so you can I'll show you in a minute how you can use that if you don't have a slide hammer and you're in an emergency you can hook it with something and tap it and pull it apart you can improvise but before I start I always lay out all my parts I open the kit I dump it out and I lay out two packing two packing two packing and then uh, the parts because if they should short you one part and you get in the middle of it, you're, you're in trouble. So before you even pull it apart, make sure you got all, all your parts. Lay them out evenly like that. So to start with, we need to pull the brass out. And what I do is I let this down and I put those in. And then I hang on to this and then I just twist this in. Until it, it catches the brass and then you just pop the first one out. Then you have uh, the second one. Take a flashlight, you can look inside and, and you can see that the second one is also brass. So I'm going to Try and hook that. And get the second one out. Now, a secret that you need to remember is the order they come in. In other words, you need to take them out and I usually flip these upside down for the reason that um, it goes to back together the other way. So so there, there it is. We need to inspect the pump. Clean it out. Inspect it. Uh, this pump had real real problems and it could be in the valves too so what I what I like to cheat is I like to try and reach in and check check the valves but uh, you can't do it we're gonna have to pull pull it apart and I'll do a separate separate video on the valves so anyways that's how you pull that apart but you need to inspect these brass pieces because possibly you're going to need to replace them. What are you looking for on, in those brass pieces? Just, just wear and tear. Here's the new one. Okay, we have the brass kit out. And uh, so now we have to determine how to get these apart. First of all, this piece comes right out, but we're going to leave it in there until we put it back together. So I, I do one at a time, and uh, what we do on this is we just uh, put in our, uh, sometimes it just comes right apart. You don't even have to worry about it. But you just hook it in there, and then we just put it right under 
the vise. That thing opened up a little. Can you get a good shot of it? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, and then just, that one just popped right out. A lot of them are harder than that. So you have that. So so let's, uh, let's inspect and see what it looks like in here. The brass kit looks very nice. We'll wipe that down and reuse it. Here we, we pull the packing out. We have a packing, a packing, and a brass ring. And that, uh, that uh, is like that. So let's take a rig and just, just inspect your, your packing check uh, the packing obviously you don't have to inspect but the the brass kit and I really don't see anywhere on the brass kit so we are going to reuse this except right there we do have uh, something right there But I don't think it's a problem. So. So, anyways, we're going to re reuse them. So, we'll uh, start out by putting it back together the, the, the way it came apart. So I'm going to put it together. We'll start. We'll start by pushing out the O-rings, taking them off. Put your old parts separate from your new parts. And then we have this O-ring. So we have two O-rings that go in there. Sometimes you might have to put a little bit of grease in to hold it in. And then you set that part in. You can hear when it bottoms out. Okay, then the next thing is you want to um, you have a brass ring. Which does not come in the kit. So you put the brass ring down and then you put your um, your two cups in. And the way you put them in is you fold them in. In other words, you, you push one side in and then you work it around and fold it down in onto that brass ring. The second one goes right on top of it and you fold that one in the same way. Just like that. Then the next piece that goes in of course is this because you can see this piece goes against the back side of the cup. So that would go in next. And uh, you want to make sure that's in there. And then the last piece goes into this comes out throw your old pieces there as you put your new pieces in and change your ring and 
and that piece is ready to go back in. Set it in, and you want to be very gentle. Do not want to burn this up. This is one time you can bounce your hand. <laughs> Just a joke between Adam and myself. So. So that's it. Do one, do two, and do three. Same way, but keep your old parts separate from your new parts. The complaint on uh, this pump was a pulsation, and uh, when there's a pulsation of water dripping, you have to be sure that, uh, that uh, the brasket doesn't have to be replaced. Now, if you look closely, I put a little bit of white in there. You see a little river going by the cup? That will cause a pulsation so unfortunately we started this the first one was good the second one was good but the third one was bad so we're going to take it apart we're going to put all new brass kit in here as you can see because if you're going to replace one you should replace all three of them so so the best thing is take them all apart set them out and then you won't have the problem we had. You get to the last one and you gotta start over. So, anyways, uh, uh, be sure and look for that little river going down there. Then you know that the brasket needs to be replaced. Go. The complaint on uh, this pump was a pulsation. And uh, when there's a pulsation of water dripping, you have to be sure that, uh, that uh, the brasket doesn't have to be replaced. Now, if you look closely, I put a little bit of white in there. You see a little river going by the cup? That will cause a pulsation. So, unfortunately, we started this. The first one was good. The second one was good. But the third one was bad. So, we're going to take it apart. We're going to put all new brass kit in here as you can see because if you're going to replace one you should replace all three of them so so the best thing is take them all apart set them out and then you won't have the problem we had you get to the last one and you got to start over so anyways uh, uh, be sure and look for that little river going down there then you know that the brass kit needs to be replaced